We start with breaking news coming out of Nashville in the United States. A woman has shot dead at least six people at a private Christian primary school. A number of children are thought to be among the dead. The gunwoman herself has been killed. The police gave this update a very short time ago. We know at this point that this shooter is a female. Uh, she appears to be in her teens, although her identification has not been confirmed at this juncture. We know that she was armed with at least two assault-type rifles and a handgun. Well, let's cross live now and speak to Freddie O'Connell, who is a mayoral candidate in Nashville and joins me now. And uh, an absolutely tragic morning in Nashville. Freddie, what more can you tell us? Tremendous sadness and anger on the ground here. A member of my team has family in that school. I've got a friend and constituent at that school. I've got a friend, I've got multiple friends with children at that school and all there is is heartbreak uh, among the chaos. I mean, I, I had, we've been waiting for hours to confirm that people we know personally uh, have survived. And, you know, we're still getting reports of we started with potentially three dead, some of them children. Now we're up to a mix of children and adults, and it's unbelievably heartbreaking. And for me, as an American uh, whose city has joined the ranks of those where mass shootings have entered our school buildings, it's a day of anger as well. Mm, and the police have just wrapped up a, a briefing, haven't they, to the media, Freddie? What more information do we know about what's happened? Um, I think you covered most of the primary details. What we know right now is that uh, what seems to be a young woman uh, armed with at least two assault rifles and possibly a handgun entered the building uh, and seems to have begun shooting. Uh, we don't have a lot of details yet about any potential motive or uh, connection to the school, but no matter how you look at this, it is clear that this was an act of terror. And of course, as always, when these things happen in the U.S., people will be in the aftermath talking about U.S. gun laws, won't they? They should. Uh, we need to continue having this conversation as we watch these tragedies unfold and seem to pretend as though we're helpless. We are not. We know what it takes to end gun violence in this country and in cities in this country, and we simply refuse to take action. And I am done with it. Do you have any more information about the school? Because I believe it's a Christian school, isn't it, where children there are between the age of 11 and 12, or, or am I wrong? It, it, the school, I believe, is actually, uh, for us, kindergarten through sixth grade. So, yeah, it, it runs right. actually even from pre-K all the way up to 11 or 12-year-olds. And, yes, it's a relatively small school community. It is a private Christian uh, primary school. OK. Well, Freddie, it's been good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us at the BBC. Thank you.